Hello everyone, Recapped Mystery here, welcome back. Today I'm going to explain a comedy, romance movie named, Bubble Boy. Watch out and take care. Jimmy Livingston, a little boy, is born with no immune system. A single microorganism has the potential to be fatal. As a result, he must be kept apart. He can't touch anything without contaminating it. As a result, in order to survive, he will have to spend his entire life inside a bubble-like plastic sphere. His mother, Mrs. Livingston, is overprotective of her son. He wasn't even allowed to come home until he was four. She and Mr. Livingston, However, bring the little boy home in his bubble after he turned four. His room, too, has a huge bubble into which he can walk. His parents can touch him with the projecting hands of the bubble, to keep even the smallest bacteria at bay. All of his toys are decontaminated and preserved inside the bubble. Since then, Jimmy has been residing in the room. Mrs. Livingston does not want him to leave the bubble, Therefore she ends all bedtime stories with the princess dying as a result of their departure. Mrs. Livingston has directed that he watch only one television channel and read only one magazine. They are the only ones who have ever existed. She also trims his hair and wraps her arms around him. Mrs. Livingston is a devoted patriot. Therefore she teaches Jimmy just what she believes in. She believes her opinions are logical, and she puts them on him. Jimmy, on the other hand, doesn't know any better. As a result, he accepts it. Everyone in town is aware of the unusual bubble boy. However, it does not work in his favor. Instead, the youngsters from the next door cover themselves in plastic. Mrs. Livingston routinely chases away those who mock Jimmy outside his home. Jimmy only eats home-cooked meals. Mrs. Livingston has built a decontamination system in a plastic tube where he keeps his food to eliminate the bacteria before Jimmy can get it. Jimmy is 16 years old now. He describes how he grew up like any other youngster and how delighted he feels when, instead of a car, he receives an electric guitar. Until one day, while looking out his window, he notices, Chloe, a new girl his age, is moving into his neighborhood. He has become fond of her, but I'm unable to stop it. More importantly, he knows nothing about love or girls. His mother detects his adoration and tells Jimmy the story of a child who died as a result of his adoration. He made contact with the next door whore. Jimmy catches Chloe watching him through his windows for the next few years, and she notices his watching her as well. He describes how he knows something is wrong with him but doesn't know what it is. One early morning, he is terrified when he awakens with an erection. He strikes himself with a bat, screams, and calls his mother, unbeknownst to the notion. Mrs. Livingston enters and forces him to repeat the, until he settles down. Chloe's popular pals make fun of Jimmy, dubbing him the bubble boy. She seemed to be defensive of him. One day, she knocks on Mr. Livingston's door and he allows her in. She is amazed by the system of plastic tubes that runs throughout the house. She follows the tube to Jimmy's room. Jimmy is astonished and nervous because he has only spoken to his mother. Chloe approaches him and tells him she likes his guitar. Jimmy tries to show her how to play with her protruding hands. In the middle of it, he begins reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Since that day, the two have spent every day together. Mrs. Livingston dislikes their friendship but is powerless to stop it. Following that is a montage of them spending time together. She presents him a guinea pig wrapped in a ball, for his birthday, and even invites children inside his room for Halloween. On her birthday, one night, a drunken person Chloe enters Jimmy's room through the windows. She tries to enter the bubble. She claims she can't stay away from him any longer, however, she collapses before entering. The action shifts to Chloe's prom night. Mark, her perverted boyfriend, arrives to take her up. Jimmy is devastated by this. Jimmy accepts Mark's offer of a cigarette, but he has no idea what it is. Jimmy runs into Mark one night and Chloe can see out his windows. Chloe walks into Jimmy's room the next day and shows him her engagement ring. Mark had asked her to marry him. Their wedding is this weekend in Niagara Falls. She has arrived to notify Jimmy. Jimmy is disappointed, but he doesn't show it. She also bought him a gift, which she places inside his decontamination tube, but Jimmy dismisses it. It, instead, he returns the guinea pig and asks her to go. Chloe walks away with tears in her eyes, her gaze. Later, 
Jimmy receives the gift and discovers that it is a snow globe with the words I love you written inside. He yells her name and decides to go to Niagara Falls to prevent the wedding. He works hard to create a portable bubble barrier for himself and is eventually successful. Then he slips out of the house without his parents' knowledge. Jimmy is overjoyed to be jogging for the first time, so he goes to the bus station and begs for a bus ticket. Jimmy, on the other hand, has failed to bring any money. He tries to cross the road, distressed. When he is struck by a bus, he crashes to the ground, but his bubble saves him. Dot people from the bus approach him and offer him a ride. Jimmy gladly takes it, but he soon discovers that the people are members of a religious cult. When he points it out, they yell at him and kick him off the bus. The cult gang arrives at their destination, where their leader proclaims a round guy inside a globe to be God's savior. The group realizes Jimmy is their savior and sets out to find him in order to extract him from the globe. Meanwhile, Jimmy encounters Slim, a biker. Jimmy informs him that the love of his life has married someone else. Slim is impressed and tells him about his previous lover, whom he still loves, named Wildfire. He then gives Jimmy a ride, and the two of them travel to Niagara Falls. Mrs. Livingston is shocked when she discovers Jimmy is missing at home. Mrs. Livingston and her husband set out to find Jimmy because the police would only do it if they were paid. After 24 hours of missing, in other news, Slim and Jimmy arrive in Vegas and make a pit stop. Rest. They had a great time at the casino, but Jimmy just has two days until his wedding. So he abandons Slim in the club, grabs a scooter, and flees, and takes off in it. After some time on the road, Jimmy stumbles upon his parents' car, which attempts to stop him from running. In a rush, Jimmy is involved in an accident. Fortunately, his bubble bounces him into a moving train. He escapes his mother but is now confined in a train with freak show talents. The outcasts inform him about their boss, Dr. Freak, who keeps them imprisoned and utilizes them in his freak show. Jimmy encounters Dr. Freak, who is also a dwarf. He unintentionally throws the man to the ground. He bursts his bubble and frees the other freaks. He then proceeds on his journey to Niagara Falls, but he can't ride his scooter anymore. So he goes to a restaurant and asks for a ride. There, several police officers abuse a man named Push Pop. When Jimmy tells them he has no immunity, they presume he has a contagious sickness and quarantine him. Get away from there. In the midst of the turmoil, the restaurant catches fire, and Push Pop gives Jimmy a ride. In addition, he agrees to accompany him to Niagara Falls. Mrs. Livingston contacts Dr. Freak, who informs her that Jimmy is leaving. The Niagara Falls, she phones Chloe and yells at her for causing Jimmy to flee. As she converses with, the freaks outside take Dr. Freak's automobile. Push Pop and Jimmy are driving along when they come upon a cow in the middle of the road. Push Pop is a genre, concerned because cows are forbidden in his religion, are a sign of God. But Jimmy tells him that his faith is wrong after hearing his mother's statement. This irritates Push Pap, so he abandons Jimmy. Jimmy eventually makes it to New York. He requests a ride from an elderly man named Pippi, who agrees. Jimmy awakens the following morning, and the dude is still behind the wheel. Jimmy quickly realizes that Pippi is dead, and the automobile collides with a billboard. Jimmy enters a grocery shop and dials Chloe's number. Mark answers the phone and tells Jimmy to hang up since he is getting married to Chloe in one hour. He is now despondent, so he contacts his mother and requests that she come and pick him up. Both of his parents drive up to him and help him into the car. Mrs. Livingston visits the loo. When Mr. Livingston asked Jimmy how he felt for the first time outside, both the father and the son bond. Mr. Livingston advises Jimmy not to give up before trying. Jimmy runs to stop the wedding after hearing his comments. Mrs. Livingston notices this and says, in their automobile, she follows him. At the same time, the cult gang tracks Jimmy down and pursues him. Slim arrives with his biker buddies to help, Jimmy as well. Slim makes eye contact with Mrs. Livingston, who happens to be his former flame, Wildfire. It turns out that they are all driving on a plane's runway. Jimmy boards a plane as it takes off, with an ancient pilot. They take an aircraft to Niagara Falls, but the plane crashes, causing Jimmy to plunge down the falls. Fist bubble, thankfully, keeps him from drowning. He manages to get out of the water, and dashes off to the wedding. Jimmy walks into the chapel as Chloe and Mark exchange vows, 
enters the church and declares his love for her. Seeing that this is his last chance to persuade Chloe, he risks his life by tearing his bubble open to kiss her. However, immediately following it, he becomes unconscious. Mr. and Mrs. Livingston come as Chloe tries to wake him up. Mrs. Livingston is mourning the death of her son when Mr. Livingston wants her to tell everyone the truth. Mrs. Livingston humiliatingly admits that Jimmy has no medical issue, and he abruptly dies. Comes to, it turns out that she lied to him in order to keep him safe from the ills of the world for all time. These years, Jimmy is stunned, but forgives his mother since she says she did it to protect him. Jimmy and Chloe are preparing to marry, everyone he met along the way is at the wedding. Greetings. Mr. Livingston, Slim and Mrs. Livingston are now a throuple. The film concludes with Jimmy and Chloe driving. They're driving away to their honeymoon. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.